Hello, 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 and welcome back. So, after grinding through almost all of that floral fertilizer, because I kind of gave up in the end, we have plenty of flowers to work with. So that's great. So we now need to, we can get rid of this and we get rid of this. We can get rid of this as well. Uh, and we can get rid of the pouch. So, what we now need to do, our next steps would be to make a petal apothecary, which needs slabs, obviously, you fool. Which which needs slabs, obviously. There's a man shooting at us. Ow. Yeah, our base isn't secure. Um, I just came back down uh, from dealing with uh, the flower grabbing. Uh, and I found that Zombies will come into your place and break all your chests. They even went as far as breaking my monitor and the cable. Um, so, like, I could have lost a lot of progress, actually. Because if I don't have this monitor available, I can't access the stuff. And if I can't access the stuff without the monitor... So I could have lost a lot of stuff there. Uh, even broke my battery, which is a mad thing to do. Um, why isn't any of this draining? Oh, it's because this one's draining, that's fine. Um, but yeah, that was a bit crazy. Um, eat up. So we were trying to make the apothecary. Uh, why didn't that work? Surely this works as... No? What is this? Has to be cobblestone slab, it looks like. This can be any cobblestone, but this needs to be cobblestone slab. Got it. Uh... Problem is, we don't have much cobblestone. Is there an easy way to get cobblestone? Um... Oh, we could... Yeah, we could just do... Wait, if we get one of you... Oh, well, we get all of you, sure. And then we come out to here, and we just do this for a second. Smooth stone. Smooth stone. And then we can just mine it all up for cobble. Aren't I smart? Perfect. Uh, so let's come back in and let's make our cobblestone slabs, and that's fine. Then we can make the petal apothecary, that's fine. What do we have that's Britannia in here? Oh, just a little bit, that's fine. Let me grab this and this for now. Um, so now, oh, we need seeds as well. We're using a lot of seeds um, for this monstrosity of stuff. Uh, the glowstone chickens are now done. Uh, what I did is I flattened this area up here because I thought it's quite a nice area. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to torch spam though so things don't spawn super nearby. Because if things spawn and just break my stuff, I'm going to be very mad. Uh, is it F5? Nope. Wrong one. F7? That shows you light levels? I don't know. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. We have plenty of stuff to either A, make torches, B, use for light. So I'm not super concerned. I just wanted to make sure that... Ooh, is there like a mega torch in here? Torch. Uh, torch launcher... Lantern of Paranoia, places torches in unlit areas. Well, that would have been nice. We do have an automatic torture, to be fair. Let's go and grab that quickly. Because uh, we can, what we can do is we can go uh, torch, grab the rest of our torches, grab the automatic torture, and now if we come here, should start to place them, right? Because it's on. So let's just put it in our bubble slot for now. And if I move, I just want to see it place torches. Oh my god. I think it did place a load already. Why isn't it placing them? Can't be too light here, surely. Surely. 
One thing we could do, to be fair, I'm thinking it's pretty crazy, but we could surround this in lava if need be. But that's fine. We'll leave the torture on for now. Um, oh, we do need the uh, we do need the bucket free though. So let's maybe do this. There we go. Um, so then we can come here, and we need some petals, specifically the white petals. And I think it's four per. Let's just see. Four per, yeah. So we can make 16, which will make a fair few, admittedly. But I would rather have lots of these than not uh, than this. Right click with an empty hand. Oh, perfect. And then... Perfect. So we've got four pure daisies now. So with pure daisies, we can put them down. Uh, one here, one here. We are going to need another block of dirt. We don't have the most space, in fact, uh, to work in. But that's fine. Uh, so we need smooth stone, and we need... Um, is there a stone chicken? Stoner. <laughs> um, <laughs> such a child. Chicken. Moonstone, redstone, demon stone, redstone, uranium stone, stone, glass stone, stone, stone. There's not a stone chicken? That's crazy to me. But that's fine. Um, stone. Yeah, we're going to have to experiment, I guess, and see whether it will accept this as valid. Um, because otherwise, that's going to be a little bit annoying. Let's have it place some torches in here. Okay. And maybe a couple on the way down here. I just want to make sure nothing spawns to try and come into our world. Because it was very annoying to see everything broken down here. Um, okay, right, so... And we need wood as well. Wood, 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 wood. Perfect. Full stack. Uh, so while this is smelting, let's have a look. So when you eat an MRE, by the way, you will notice it becomes a dirty plate. And we need to be able to clean those. Uh, cool. Let's test this first before we go crazy smelting stone. Because if this works, I'll just chuck a load of... Um... It does work. Okay, perfect. That is good to know. Perfect. So let's come down here real quick. Now that I know that works, I will come over here, grab... Let's just put some of this away. Oh, I need the need to go back in and grab that. Uh, one second. Uh, just give me those. Um, I wanted to grab a load of you. And then let's call this top bit an insert and extract. And it should start to fill up. Yeah. Perfect. That's good. Um, so let's put a load more in so that we're able to make plenty of pure stone, whatever it's called. Um, and then actually, oh, well, we've got one in here, right? Yeah, let's just take a crafting station. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's getting to night time. Let's maybe see if we can sleep. Yeah, perfect. I just don't, I don't want to be messing around in the dark. Cool. So, we're going to blitz through probably the f first part of Batania, because I know roughly what I'm doing. Roughly being the keyword. Um, we need our axe as well. We maybe made too many pure daisies. I'll admit that now. And only now will I admit that. Um... But that's fine. It's not the biggest issue to have made too many. 
Uh, we probably need more wood than we do stone, but it's not the worst to get a little bit of both going at the start. So, with this we can make a pool, which is perfect. With this we can make, we need three sticks, perfect, and two of you to make our wand, perfect. So, what inventory is this? Is this this inventory? Yeah, because I can't place anything in there. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Um, so we've made the apothecary, we've made the living wood, we've made that, we've made that. Got it, right. So, we're, we're starting to get into proper Britannia here. So let's place this here for a second. Um, we don't need this bookmarked. We could make the pestle and water, but I don't think it's necessary right now. Uh, Wonder the forest is made. So, we could do with basically now getting into actual Britannia. I think we can chuck these down now. Do they not? Uses. Don't know. I thought they, maybe it's one at a time. I don't know. I thought they melted down. Um, but anyway, welcome to Kabutanya. I congratulate you on your fine choice of strapping a sapling and book together, or just finding this tome in a chest, whatever applies. You can navigate this book, despite it looks yada 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 yada. I'm sure that was all very useful. Oh, that's share, got it, that's fine. View online, got it, back. Uh, while you one, uh, you can pick between in-game guide, tour, of the book, or a short video in-game, that's fine. Cool. So, the basics. So we've got the Batan, uh, this, 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 and we've got this, we've got, well, Black Lotus, here we go. An elusive flower known to exist, uh, however, it does not reproduce where they can be found and not known. It is known, however, that if it contains a strong amount of concentrated mana, it can be released by putting it into a mana pool. It just tossing it will do. That's what we have, and I did that and it didn't work. However, it uh, contains a strong amount of mana, concentrated mana that can be released by putting it inside a mana pool that already has mana in it. Just tossing it in will do. Oh, we see. Okay, that's fine. So we need to basically find our mana generating flowers anyway. So generating flowers. So we have a choice here. Oh, we, we probably could get away with the thermal lily, actually, um, because we've got easy access to lava. Um, but that's a little bit further in anyway. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to make the most basic starter one, which is two brown, one light gray, one red. Got it. So we can put this away for a second. So we need brown, light gray, and red. So for every one brown, we can make... Well, no, every two brown, one you, one you, we make two flowers, basically, is how this works. So if we want to make, say, six, we would need to do six of you, I guess, and three of you, and three of you. I think that works. And then the rest we put away for now. Try and keep our inventory mildly tidy. Uh, so, and then let's clear this off of our top bar, clear this off our hot bar, we need this, we need this, we don't need this, got it right. So, you put two brown, one of you, and one of you. Perfect, and then we do this, and now we have the start of our ease of mana production. Perfect, okay. Honestly, being able to click like this is the most helpful thing in the world. You don't know, if you've ever played Batania before that came about, oh, it was tiresome. Cool, so now we've got six uh, mana flowers. So we can do one, two, three, four, five. Uh... That's a bit annoying, isn't it? 
six. That's what we'll do. Um, with this, we will also need a mana spreader. Uh, so, mana spreader. Okay, so that needs a gold and some living wood and a petal. So again, we have the living wood here. Let's just mine this up real quick. Oh, something pushed me. Or oh, that's me. Sometimes if I double tap even slightly, our speed kicks in and we just go nuts. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Uh, do this. Let's quickly uh, put down some more of you, pop down some more of you. Perfect. Okay, and let's just jump down. The no fall damage. Blissful. I tell you. Blissful. Uh, so we want a mana spreader. Got it. One of you. Boom. Perfect. That will now give us the ability to produce mana from... Oh, we should probably come back down for a second. Uh, and grab you. But first... Don't know what I just put into the system there. That's going to be a bit annoying to me, but that's fine. Uh, we want a stack of you. Perfect. Uh, and then we can come up here and we should be able to do this. Oh, I was like, who's breaking stuff already? Link you to you. Link you to you. Link you to no, link you to... Oh. Oh, okay. We can link you to you. Link you to you. You want to make sure that they, they have a, a tick, basically. So it now it's ticked. This one's crossed. Uh, and it's now ticked. This one's crossed. And it's now ticked. So these flowers burn coal. very annoying that we have magnetic on some of our stuff because you can't turn it off all I can do is kind of just run away why aren't they will they just do normal coal what's happening Endoframe is a rudiment that will absorb any combustible items or blocks. Yeah. What's happening? Why won't you... Let's try doing this. Wait. Okay. So we've got six of you. If you just place them when the mana spread is already down, they will already connect to it. Um... I don't think you need to spread them out anymore, to be fair. Let's try that anyway. And then... There we go. So now this is generating mana. We should just be able to do that, which will give us more mana. And now we can see we have a tiny bit of mana generated. And this is kind of the start to um, to Batania. Um, it would be nice if we could make this. So we need some glass and some gold nuggets, which both are things the chickens produce. Uh, this guy for gold nuggets. Because we've already got ourselves an ingot of uh, mana steel, because we found those in chests and stuff. So it's quite nice. We just need to make ourselves some mana glass. Uh, there we go. And then we should be able to come over here. Do you know what I'd like to do? Separate this, because seeing that inventory is very pointless. There we go. And we can make ourselves a mana seer's bauble. And now we can see things. Oh, we can see, okay. so. I was a bit unsure of what we could see, but it'll show you the area in which these are willing to connect to um, spreaders. 
which is good. So this should be generating a healthy amount of mana because we gave them coal blocks as well. Uh, lovely, 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 and lovely. Perfect. Okay. So now we have mana coming in. Oh, didn't mean to click share. Now we have mana coming in. We can always look into other types of flowers. Like this is a passive one that will suck in water in a three by three area around it on the same like height. So you can create kind of like a little bit of a water setup where you can feed these ones. Um, in the basics, we can start to then make rune altars. Um, seems like the creator of this mod decided to add a weird game mechanic in the form of, uh, it doesn't really know what it does, probably a bad thing, some fourth wall kind of talking. Okay, don't know what that is, that's fine. Um, Dreaming Mana Pool, the Wither Flower. Okay, yeah, so we've got some good stuff here. Functional flowers. I think there is one that will actually turn our magnetism off, which is quite nice. Uh, but I don't know which one that is off the top of my head. Uh, then we've got some stuff that we can make. Uh, one thing that is quite nice to make, though, is... What does Overgrow Seeds? An elusive item which can be used to enchant a piece of grass via right-clicking it in the world, creating enchant into uh, flowers, rooted to enchant with double the normal speed. Uh, if we can find some Overgrow Seeds, that would be wonderful. Um, pasture Seeds, on the other hand. Uh, watching grass spread is uh, sell yeah so pasture seeds will basically just produce loads of grass for you um, which is cool uh, the horn of the wild clearing all tall grass and that's what we want so horn of the wild where is it there uh, so we need a pasture seed and some more living wood which we have anyway and what the Horn of the Wild does is it will destroy like tall grass and everything within a certain area of you. Meaning you can kind of like f make a space nice and clear quite easily. Uh, let's just do this for a second and we'll double down on wood. Um, so we do need a set of shears first though, which we have. And then we have to go up here. It's nice to hear torches being placed. Makes me feel like we are making some sort of progress. Um, and we grab a piece of grass. Lovely. Then we can come over here. And we can go bada bing. Oh. Bada bing. Which will make a pasture seed, which we just learned about. And then we can is was it just damn it horn, horn. Uh, oh almost clicked on it what's happening oh i was like what's happening please horn of the wild so now we can do this and it will help clear an area for us and kind of tidy it, which is great. Rather than maybe having to like manually wander around and break all of these little bits of grass, you can do a nice and easy just horn blow, which I think is a very useful tool. It feels very um, underrated in as such, but I think when we go to move, it will make things much easier. And that's what we're kind of doing right now is preparing stuff for our move means we're going to pick up a lot of drops because of these random extra plants, but yes, a lot of drops. Um, let's, you know what, let's take them with us. Come on. Come on a journey. Let's put them all in the AE system. It's not following us anymore, but it will go. Where'd all that stuff go? 
It's gone. Okay, well, you win some, you lose some. Uh, let's just quickly chuck away some of this stuff. Uh, try and be a little bit organized and not throw away the useful things. Uh, right, okay. So now we can open our bag and just put these bits in there because this will be like our tool bag basically, which is very useful to have. Uh, we keep this on us, put away the axe for now. Uh, and this is all, we can put the book away even. This is all useful stuff. Put the dank knoll away. We're not doing any, not doing any digging. Uh, cool. So then we fly back up. Yeah, I think I think that's a pretty good start into Britannia. I'm a little worried about leaving stuff out here, that it's gonna get beaten up by zombies. If I'm honest, um, but I think if we if we torch everything up appropriately, shouldn't be too bad. Just worried people will, yeah, come over and break my stuff. Which I don't want. But I think if we have a good radius around, I guess, they won't um, spawn close enough to maybe beeline for our stuff? Question mark? Exclamation mark. Full stop. There's a lot of torches around here, I'll tell you that for sure. More eggs. Um, and we can always, I mean, we have enough resources now where, oh, there's the stuff. Come to me. There we go. Uh, we have enough resources where, literally, we could probably just come coal chicken. Oh, my God. My God. See, it's already, um, coal chicken's already refilled, though. Which is pretty cool to see. Uh, what's in this? I love opening the bags. I can't get enough of it, honestly. Unlock blocked trades. Oh. Still cool. Still cool. So we can probably just like come over here, we can grab a stack of you, we can come to the log chicken, grab a stack of you, probably even grab more stacks of you, and just literally slap a load of wood out. And then we could probably just zoom around. There we go, let's do that. Clear that, and then bang. Oh my god, that's many torches, right? But now with the auto placer, which doesn't seem to lose durability, it just seems to um, use your torches, we don't have to worry, we can just run around our island a little bit and make sure that nothing will spawn around here, which is nice. Which I will probably do. Um, a little bit of running, just because we've got the speed as well. Um, and it doesn't really affect us too much to do this. As I said, like with resources and stuff, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy, I tell ya. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. The speed can get very confusing in the tree lines. Um, but as long as nobody comes and breaks my stuff, like someone like you. There we go. That's right, someone like you and you are oh, invested. He was invested. He was filled with silverfish. The poor bastard. That would be a horrendous, horrendous way to live, full of these guys. Because I, I always like to imagine that those as spikes and not hairs. I don't know if other people think of them as hairs. I think of them as spikes, though. He brought a friend with him. Some of their reaction speeds are slow. Why are we not placing torches anymore? We should still be. Is it because it's daytime? Hmm, maybe. Uh, cactuses also, by the way, grow. What the hell are you? Cactuses also do infinite grow. Uh, fun fact. Cool. Well, we're going to call it there. It's another quite long episode, but we've now got our way into Britannia, which is great. So, thank you very much for watching. We can have a little check on the chickens. I imagine they've almost bred themselves. Ah, perfect. 10, 10, 10 diamond chickens. Perfect. So now we can chuck away the scrap chickens. And what's in here? Oh, floral fertilizer's in here as well. Christ. It's everywhere. 
These guys are still still chugging along pretty slow, but that's fine. So, thank you very much for watching everyone, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video, I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything. Go, go wild.